Hey there, 3D printing enthusiast. Today we have got an exciting project in store for you. We are going to equip your Elgu Neptune 2S with the amazing BL Touch Auto Bed Leveling Sensor. Get ready to take your printers to a whole new level of precision and ease. For disclaimer, this video is not a sponsor. Let's dive right in. You might be wondering what is so special about the PL Touch. Well, it's uh, like having your own personal assistant for perfect bed leveling. No more struggling with manual ad adjustment or uneven layers. With the PL Touch, leveling your bed uh, becomes easier and your prints will and come out look uh, flawlessly smooth. Let's explore the incredible benefit of adding a BL Touch to your Elgu Neptune 2S. First and foremost, the BL Touch simplifies the bed leveling process. Say goodbye to frustration and waste time. The BL Touch takes care of it all saving you the headache of manual adjustment and let's not forget about print quality with the bl touch in action you can say goodbye to warp prints and adhesion issue the sensor detects any imperfection of the bed and adjusts the nozzle height accordingly resulting to have a perfect print every time now we must clarify one thing. While the BL Touch doesn't directly detect nozzle clogs or filament run out, uh, there is no need to worry. Your Elgo Neptune 2S comes uh, prepared with other nifty features like filament run out sensors and uh, thermal runaway protection. Together they work uh, hand in hand with the BL Touch to a spot and prevent any printing uh, mishaps. Safety and uh, reliability are the top priority. Uh, before we dive into the installation, let's take a quick uh, pit stop at uh, Thanks by Amadic. Don't worry, uh, it's an easy detail. We have got the link in the video description and comment below. Head over there, download the appropriate PL Touch connector files for your Elgu Neptune 2S and let's get things rolling. There are some other uh, designs uh, that are not as good as this one I tried. To embark on this enchanting journey of the 3D printing magic, gather the following essential tools. BL Touch sensor, which in my case is the clone one, wire for creating extension or male to female DuPont wires, approximately 12 inches or 30 centimeters. Male DuPont pins for extensions wire and uh, X Edge 2.54 uh, pins. 3D printed cover for connectors, and 3D printed BL Touch connector, a screwdriver, bug cutter, and pliers, and zip ties. Safety first. Power off your 3D printer and, and disconnect it from the power source. We don't want to see any magic smoke. Let's carefully attach the BL Touch sensors to your Elgu Neptune 2S using the 3D printed uh, connector. Keep it snug and secure next to the nozzle. You can connect the BL Touch using the screw that comes uh, with, with it and attach it to the gantry using uh, two M3 8mm screws.
pass the BL Touch wires through the uh, wire harness of your printer. If they uh, need a little extra length, no worries. We have got you covered with the male to female DuPont wire. In my case, I created a custom wire, uh, one side male DuPont and other side has three female pins DuPont and two pins X, uh, XH uh, 2.54, which it's coming uh, with the BL touch. It's time to connect the extended wires. Match the wire colors to their designated pins on the controller board. Black and white are going to Z switch pin. Yellow to the signal pin, red to VCC and green to ground. Just like connecting the dots. Download a pin protector from Tinkerverse to keep those BL touch pins steady during printer movement since in extended parts they can become loose it's better uh, to put them in a cover or secure them with uh, electric tape let's get a sneak peek inside the control board by opening the printer controller cover gently remove any screw if you want an even better view, you can also open the display panel. I'll go move their firmware files to a github repository. The link is right down there in the video description. Click on it and find the latest firmware built for your Elgo Neptune 2S. Now, let's customize the firmware to enable auto bed leveling and fine tune the BL touch for precision probing. Open the elgo.txt file with the firmware uh, files using a ed text editor. Here what you need to set. CFG underlying uh, leveling mode, uh, we need to set this parameter to one to enable auto bed leveling. Get ready to say goodbye to manual bed leveling headache. Then PET underline leveling underline method. We need to set the value as 3 uh, is the key to BL touch magic. This set the leveling method to use uh, the BL touch sensor for accurate leveling. Then grid max point X and grid max point Y. Keep these values at 4 for a 4x4 four four grid point setup. It is perfect for most uh, printers, but you can adjust them if needed. Change the value from 0 to 1 for Z safe homing and Z min prop pin mode. Next, let's talk about the critical offset. Z prop offset from extruder. This parameter determines the distance between BL touch probe and the nozzle. Measure this distance carefully and enter the value to ensure accurate probing. Then X probe offset from extruder and Y probe offset from extruder. This value help position the prop correctly during probing. Measure the distance between the prop and the nozzle in both X and Y direction and input the values accordingly. With these settings customized to your specific setup, 
your Elgu Neptune 2S is all set to em embrace the wonders of uh, auto bed leveling. Save those changes and close the text editor where we have got your customized firmware ready to go. Copy the modified elgu.txt files and elgu.bin to the root of a microSD card. Insert the microSD card into the printer's microSD card slot. Power on the printer. If you encounter a little hiccup where the firmware update stays at 100% without restarting, no worries. To resolve the, this issue, update all the files in the printer configuration framework, including font and pictures. Copy the modified elgu.txt, elgu.bin, and two other folders, font and pic, to the root of the microSD card and then proceed with updating the printer again. This should most likely resolve your issue. Your printer should restart with the new firmware. Keep an eye on the BL touch. It will be moving or uh, calibrating, showing off its skill. Then heat up your plate to the desired temperature. Now let's proceed to the main menu settings on your printer. Press the auto leveling option and watch as the printer start probing 16 points on the bed. Once completed, it will pause at the center of the heat bed, awaiting the Z offset setting. Based on our experience, you will want to bring the nozzle slightly lower to around 0.2 millimeter. However, keep in mind that this adjustment may vary from one printer to another, ensuring flawless adhesion and print quality. To ensure utmost accuracy of the Z offset, we recommend printing a test leveling pattern. Observe the Z axis movement as it meticulously follows the contours of the print bed. A final touch of precision that guarantees exceptional printing performance. And there you have it. You have successfully equipped your Elgu Neptune 2S with the marvelous BL Touch sensor. Get ready to enjoy effortless bed leveling, a stunning print quality and a touch of printing wizardry. Remember this journey wasn't sponsored. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Your support means the world to us. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any question or need further assistance. Happy printing and may your upgraded Elgu Neptune 2S with the BL Touch bring your creation to new highest of perfection.